Hey guys, welcome back to another video and let's take a look at something that will mirror your Mac, uh, whichever Mac you have, iMac, Mac Mini, doesn't matter, uh, to your TV over a Ethernet cable, like so, uh, without any Apple TV, without any mirroring device except this thing over here. So if this is something that you are looking for, uh, stay tuned and take a look at the pros and cons of using a device like this. Okay, and we are back with this um, receiver and transmitter to, uh, well, from a Mac to uh, a TV. In my case, it's a Mac that I want to mirror, but you, you can use this to uh, whichever device that you want, a DVD, a Blu-ray player, a, uh, you know, those boxes, TV boxes that you want. To have one on the living room and you don't want to pay your ESP for another one so there's endless solutions uh, if the device has an HDMI it will work so what is this this is a set of two pieces and what I'm gonna I'm gonna show you here on this camera here uh, so you can see it better it has one let me put on this angle okay so on one side you will find HDMI input hopefully you can read and HDMI output so this one will be the HDMI that comes out in my case of the iMac and this one will be the one that is connected to the TV which is the output on the other end you will find a power adapter not sorry not power adapter a power jack and a power jack and also a uh, the Ethernet uh, connection. So all you will have to do is connect your Ethernet cable to one and then of course not a small one like this because we wouldn't need if it was uh, this small and then the other end and power them up and it will work um, just great. So the advantage is that, uh, well in my case and I'm gonna place the image so you can see my living room TV working with uh, with this setup here. Uh, so for my case was especially for the iPhoto application. Uh, I tried on a previous video if you browse my channel uh, with a Miracast device and that didn't work uh, at all. <laughs> didn't work at all. And right now with this device, as you can see on the screen, I've got all the uh, resolution, 180p resolution um, with my instant uh, photos, uh, slideshows, which is one of, of the great uh, features of the iPhoto, is that I can make a slideshow on the fly, no rendering, nothing, just if uh, some friends of ours uh, are visiting us and we want to show some of the, of the pictures that we have with them, uh, we just select the person or the persons and just press play and there we go. So what I can say is that regarding video quality, audio quality, there's no flaws. Everything works perfectly. Uh, there is no, uh, no lag, no delays, no whatsoever. Okay. So my opinion on this, um, two devices here, well, it's, it's one device, but, um, separated in two pieces, one input and output. This is great for, and another example would be, let's say that you have your computer uh, in your office or you have a PlayStation or whichever device that you use to play that has HDMI connection out uh, and you want to play with your friends or in the living room or with your kids or in the bedroom, which uh, <laughs> doesn't matter, any place of your house, this device will make it work. Um, of course, if you have remotes, uh, you will need something which is the IR, IR uh, extender. Uh, you can buy these sets with the IR uh, for remotes included, or you can buy them separate. Uh, 
and you can send the signal from from the remotes whether it's gaming remotes or uh, TV remotes, boxes remotes. So there's endless options for these uh, kind of things. This is not new technology, there's been uh, devices like this for a few years. Uh, usually, and be aware of this, there are devices, the older ones, you will find two connections for uh, Ethernet cables and that uh, might be a bit messier uh, because usually we have one um, one cable or two cables but you, you don't want to use those two uh, because we have if you have to probably gonna need two uh, so be aware of that if you don't choose this model choose another one there are uh, different models cheaper more expensive um, but the thing is that works great for this particular uh, thing that I want which is to mirror my Mac on my living TV uh, living room TV um, on the fly now there are some pros and some cons uh, the pros I think I've covered them all image quality is great uh, audio quality great um, if you have Ethernet uh, cables on your home great no hassle uh, now regarding the cons there is uh, something that you might wonder if it works or not and is if you connect this to a switch a router or a PLC uh, it will not work it will have to be a direct connection from cable to cable so this one is only about meter long uh, but the one that I have on my walls <laughs> to the living room it's about I don't know 15 20 meters something like that um, but it's one cable I've tried uh, connecting to a switch I've tried connecting to a router it would be great and there are devices that do that but more expensive uh, you can look for HDMI over Ethernet um, IP TCP IP uh, or EP, TCP, EP, uh, and you will find more expensive devices, which would ruin the point, uh, at least for me, which is to mirror my Mac. In, in that case, I would just get an Apple TV and <laughs> do that uh, wired. So this is one of the cons. You will not be able to connect this to your network um, as it is, because the signal here, although it uses a, a regular Ethernet cable, cat 5e or cat 6 or cat 6e doesn't matter uh, by the way you might read the specifications how long um, because the longer you have the cable um, the quality will start uh, falling from 180p to 720 and then 720 40 80 and if you are running this from your house to your parents house probably you're gonna lose <laughs> you're gonna lose signal anyway uh, this is a regular Ethernet cable, uh, but once you connect this to a device like a PLC or a switch or a router, it will lose the signal. So if you connect this to a switch and then other cable to your uh, output device, you will lose the signal. Um, and that was I was saying, although it uses a regular Ethernet cable, the signal, it is his uh, own signal and it will be messed up by uh, a regular home uh, network so this is one of the cons probably the only con that i found uh, and everything else is uh, is great it's well built at least this model i will paste the link uh, i'll try not to forget if i forget just just remind me uh, it's metal not plastic be aware there are some plastic models that don't inspire me uh, confidence it's cheaper but this gets not really hot but it gets warm so if it's plastic uh, it worries me about uh, burning something especially when we're not aware of so regarding the quality great um, regarding the which is our objective image quality audio quality five star no no complaints there just the only thing that i would like to have but we we can't have it all <laughs> uh, would be to be able to connect this to a switch router to our home network and get the signal elsewhere so you could have uh, with just one small cable you could have and then buy another uh, just outputs and you could place one on your living room one in your kitchen one in your toilet one in your bedroom it doesn't matter. and you could have uh, all these devices like that so all in all really happy with it 
that doesn't mean that i'm gonna stop to find a better solution but this for the time being it's gonna resolve my problem which is to mirror my mac without using an apple tv because i've said this in the past apple tv for me uh, doesn't have any interest i've got more interest in these kind of boxes which i'm gonna talk about on the next video um, which gives me more freedom too uh, let me just point out something adapters will work just fine so my iMac at the back that you saw if you haven't seen just browse the channel that it is uh, will connect through mini display port to HDMI and then HDMI to one of these input right over here and then this one to the Ethernet once you have all set up just manage your cables everything tight and leave it there it will work um, just fine it is a great idea for those that have a, a small monitor but in the living room they have a great TV they want to play at a nice resolution um, this is a great uh, thing for that will work with Mac with well I've said that anything that has HDMI so this is how it will work on the other end will be the opposite uh, connect your cable the HDMI output and then on your TV you will not need um, any adapter so just connect the HDMI directly to your TV and there you go you can mirror your Mac or your uh, whichever your Windows PC or well doesn't matter so guys this is it uh, if you have any questions that I can test this device uh, let me know I think I've covered it all this is a really simple um, well at least for me <laughs> its usability is simple I don't know how hard it was to make these things but uh, and as I said it's not new technology but it works great at a cheap price this was about 30 euros something like that 30 32 I can't recall um, but a great price compared to that thing that I tried a while back the Miracast uh, nothing to, to, to compare it's just hardwired directly to the TV guys this is it it's a great purchase if you are looking for something similar don't hesitate uh, to ask any questions and when you are looking for be aware that once more there are devices with two cables which will be harder to manage on your um, on your home or on your office so try to select one that has just uh, one it just uses one cable and it will be easier to cable management on your uh, home okay this is it i'll see you next with this box which uh, we will see what it is <laughs> okay well, bye bye guys and see you soon